The Pixel 9 Pro's most significant distinguishing feature will be its design, which is expected to take on a more blocky appearance with flat sides and back, similar to its rivals. The same may be said of the unexpected new addition to the Pixel series line, the Pixel 9 Pro XL. For reference, examine the scenario between the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. The Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL are believed to be almost similar in everything bar size. However, considering that more significant also implies more real estate, we expect to see enhancements to the XL model's battery capacity. However, remember that the Pixel 9 Pro XL is not a sized-up variant, but in addition to the standard Pixel family lineup. Instead, the XL is likely to be physically identical to the Pixel 8 Pro's dimensions, while the Pixel 9 Pro will be the same size as the Pixel 9, and hence the Pixel 8 itself. In other words, if the Pixel 9 isn't enough for you, you should soon be able to acquire a Pixel Pro phone in a typical Pixel phone size. Neat? Oh, and if you cannot wait for the Pixel 9 -er, Google is also said to have finally improved the fingerprint sensor with the Pixel 9 series, replacing the previous optical sensor with an ultrasonic sensor that is significantly quicker and more precise. According to reports concerning the Pixel 9 Pro's performance, the Tensor G4 chipset provides just minor power increases. Fortunately, the new chip, which includes a new modem, should assist with those bothersome connection difficulties. Google is also claimed to have boosted the RAM to 16 gigs, ostensibly to make the phone strong enough to support some of the new AI capabilities expected with this next iteration. Speaking of new AI capabilities for the Pixel 9 series, leaks have pointed to three really interesting features. One of them lets you include people in a picture who were not there when it was shot. Another enhances image creation. The Pixel 9 Pros will also be able to analyze your screenshots for context and comprehension. However, one of the most exciting developments for Google's high-end flagship phones this year is the release of more Pixel 9 Pro versions. There will be a Pixel 9 Pro and a Pixel 9 Pro XL. When Google launches its newest range on August 13, 2024, the Pixel 9 Pro XL will be its biggest flagship phone. It will be the direct successor to last year's Pixel 8 Pro, at least in size within the range. According to what we know, the only difference between the Pixel 9 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro XL will be the size and all that goes with it. In other words, the Pixel 9 Pro will feature a smaller battery and screen. The Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL are similar to Apple's iPhone and iPhone Plus in that they come in two sizes and are priced differently. Google will launch the Pixel 9 Pro on August 13, breaking from its typical release timetable for the Pixel 9 series. This is coming from Google which teased the Pixel 9 Pro in a video ahead of the August 13, made by Google Hardware event. According to recent reports, all Pixel 9 versions will be priced at a $100 premium. Despite the anticipated $100 price increase, Google would still undercut the competition's asking price for their top-tier flagship phones by $100, $200. The positive news is that Pixel phones often get significant reductions throughout the year so anticipate reduced costs for the Pixel 9 Pro after its introduction. There may even be some outstanding Pixel 9 Pro pre-order offers. Google, for example, provided a $250 discount on the Pixel 8 Pro when it first launched last year. If your previous phone is in excellent shape, you can combine that discount with a trade-in via the Google Store and buy the Pixel 9 Pro or 9 Pro X dial for far less. at and last year, at and t offered a terrific trade-in deal for the Pixel 8 Pro, including a free Pixel 8 Pro with any Pixel trade-in, regardless of condition. Of course, this was bundled with expensive plans, but it was still a fantastic value. Conversely, Verizon has all the enticing Pixel bargains, offering a Pixel 8 Pro for free with a choice trade-in on eligible unlimited plans. Additionally, you will receive a $200 Verizon e-gift card if you switch to Verizon. Furthermore, you can use a package offer and receive a free Pixel Watch 2 with your Pixel 8 Pro purchase. We fully anticipate Verizon providing equally excellent bargains this year. Currently, nothing is known about the Pixel 9 Pro's cameras. The only noteworthy leak we've seen is that Google may include a variable aperture on the primary, wide, camera, a sporadic feature in current flagship smartphones, particularly those made by Western firms like Google. These claims about a variable aperture will surprise us and the phone industry, but will also give customers more light control. 
The aperture is one of three methods to influence how much light a camera takes in, together with the shutter speed and ISO, the camera's holy trinity. If there are no leaks revealing new camera hardware, we may expect to see the same 50 megapixels primary, 48 megapixels ultra wide, and 48 megapixels 5x telephoto cameras at the rear incorporated into the redesigned visor. Of course, the same 10.5 megapixels front camera built into the display that debuted with the Pixel 7 Pro is also present. However, even without new camera hardware, the new Tensor G4 that will power the Pixel 9 Pro may boost picture quality. Google is well known for its camera software wizardry and has shown several times that adding more physical pieces is not necessarily required to enhance the final product. So there is lots of space for development from a software perspective. Not to add that, given we're talking about a Pixel, we may expect enhancements to some camera-related AI capabilities, such as Best Take, Audio Magic Eraser, Zoom Enhance, Video Boost, and others. We could even see some new magical camera functions. About three weeks before the Pixel 9 lineup's formal introduction on August 13, the phone's purportedly final camera settings leaked online. The lineup, as predicted, will include Sony and Samsung sensors. The coolest part? New models will undoubtedly increase picture quality and clarity, even if we don't see any insane megapixel numbers like on Galaxy phones. What is significant, however, is that the source states that Google intends to enable 8K video recording throughout the lineup, which would be both spectacular and helpful. Hopefully, this will result in something other than another cloud-based system that consumers must wait for before seeing their collected material. There has been no indication of any storage increases with the Pixel 9 Pro. This time, however, the 1TB storage choice may be limited to the more expensive Pixel 9 Pro XL. The ordinary, smaller Pixel 9 Pro is anticipated to include storage choices ranging from 128 gigs to 512 gigs. Google may add newer, more capable storage by upgrading from UFS 3.1 to UFS 4.0, cutting power consumption while increasing read or write speeds. This implies that the phone will perform quicker while using less battery life. Google's high-end phone memory is already high speed and reliable, so no enhancements are anticipated. However, we have heard claims that Google intends to equip the Pixel 9 Pro with 16 gigs of RAM, up from 12 gigs on the Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 9 series will include a redesigned camera bar on the rear. It will now resemble the Pixel Fold from last year, which means it will hover like a speech bubble at the top rather than reach the phone's frame. Take a peek for yourself. Of course, we may anticipate on-device AI capabilities with the Pixel 9 Pro, such as texted image conversions, a complete magic compose function, more complicated auto-reply recommendations, and text classification and embedding. One new Pixel 9 AI function believed to be included with the Pixel 9 Pro and the rest of the Pixel 9 series is this studio, which was formerly known as Creative Assistant. It would enable users to generate bespoke stickers and emojis using artificial intelligence, akin to Apple's Gemoji. Another fascinating one is AdMe, which will most likely serve as an expansion or upgrade on the best take feature introduced with the previous iteration. Given the function's nature, we anticipate it will enable users to include persons in a picture who were not there when it was shot. It's kind of creepy but thrilling if it works. Then there's Pixel Screenshots, a feature that allows the phone's AI to look through your screenshots and utilize them as an extra library of information and context. We are still determining how well this will work regarding security and privacy. Regarding software support, you can anticipate the same seven-year guarantee that Google introduced with last year's Pixel 8 series. Let's start with the obvious. The photos above confirm the Pixel 9 Pro's 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM, which was predicted. I won't mention the 256 gigs of storage, which is now standard for the smartphone market. You should take notice of the Exynos 5400 modem. This is now the world's fastest 5G chip, with rates of up to 11.2 gigs per second. While this immediately tackles one of the most common concerns with Google phones, namely coverage, the question remains, can Exynos beat Qualcomm? We'll let you know after August 13 when our official evaluations are published. If you're in the market for a high-end Google Pixel phone and are ready for an update, you should wait for the Pixel 9 Pro. You will get the finest Pixel experience Google offers as soon as possible, including all of the latest AI capabilities. 
The Pixel 9 Pro's two finest features are its new design, and more crucially, its smaller form size. So that's all we know for now. We'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as we have more information. Thanks for watching.